Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another purchase or pass. This one is special because they try to take my girl's page, makeup release radar, they try to take her page, but she will not be held down. So if you wanna go ahead and comb through all the new makeup releases with me, keep watching this video, let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you wanna hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So yeah, y'all, Instagram tried it. They tried to go ahead and take Makeup Release Radar's page. And I was like, oh my God, like, cause I was, we were talking and then all of a sudden I tried to send her messages. They wouldn't go through. I don't know what happened because she does not have the type of page that's like leaking releases or anything like that. And I've seen people do that all of the time. So I'm not sure what happened, but I will have Makeup Release Radar's backup page. It's Makeup Release Radar underscore official. I will put that in the description box in case you were wondering what happened to her page because that's where I get all the makeup tea from. And I like that she covers luxury, indie, and mainstream. So y'all know I always start with her page first. So I am glad that you got this backup page. And yes, we are building back up, but her old page will be back. Instagram, you tried it. So before we get into all of the new makeup releases, I wanna show you some of the things that I purchased from the Sephora Friends and Family sale that's going on right now. First, I have the Huda Beauty Empower palette uh, that I said I probably shouldn't get, but I could not help myself, y'all. Like, look, this is so pretty. I did watch a comparison video between this palette and the Natasha Denona My Dream palette, and I did feel like they were different enough. And this one has some different types of eyeshadow formulas whether or not I will like them is uh, the question but I'm really happy to have this palette and try it out ever since I purchased the naughty nudes palette I have really liked her formula so really happy about having that y'all <laughs> I talked about this palette but I had to give it another chance I give it another chance y'all <laughs> <laughs> the Natasha Denona Zen No Palette. I had to, I had to. I don't know what I was doing wrong with it before, but I returned it and now I rebought it. I'm giving it another chance. So I will have this in a video at some point. <laughs> I don't know, I, I really wanted this to work and I just, I don't know, we shall see. See, people were saying the shimmers weren't really great, but because I've been enjoying the softer looks, it might work for me now. I don't know, we're gonna see. So got that. Okay, I also wanted to try out this Laura Mercier blush and it's supposed to have these like, I don't know, pearl pigments in it. It made me think of like Hourglass, how it has like the ambient. It's not swirly or anything, but look at this y'all. This is the shade Very Berry. So I'll have a video, oops, trying out this stuff, but I just wanted to show y'all because it's new makeup releases, you know what I'm saying? Well, not really, but. This is another of the Gucci liquid lipsticks. So I have, they met in Argentina. These are definitely overpriced at $42 or whatever they were, but with 20% off. This is the shade Nelly Cherry, y'all. Mm, I just feel like this is a red that I would really like. Can't wait. Then I purchased the Daily Refining Milk Peel Toner. And this is like a liquid exfoliator by Kiehl's. I think Kiehl's might be my favorite skincare brand. They do, I see now, that they have 25% off. So I probably won't be purchasing anything else from them, from Sephora. I'll probably just go to their site. I cannot wait to try this, excited. And lastly from Sephora, I purchased a Dior lipstick case. Oh my God, y'all, so why? did let me tell you what happened why did my natasha denona hygiene primer i guess i didn't close it all the way and i didn't have much left but whatever was left spilled in the bottom of my little makeup basket and my denim dior case the one that i ranted and raved about four months was in it so when i lifted it up it was just all this like denim dye in the bottom of the basket. So I just washed it out. It still is very dark and everything, but I'm hoping that it dries and goes back to normal. Cause I will repurchase that. 
I will. Now the other things that I have are actually from Dior as well, from the holiday collection. So let me just show you, and I will do a video on this, but I just have to show y'all. So this is called Galactic 589, and I'm not gonna swatch it because I haven't taken pictures yet, but there it is. And you know what? I'm excited because the silver is more of a lavender, this has like a purple tint to it. This I think is gonna be a great color. This actually is a shimmer, the white in the middle, which I'm very happy about. This is a black. I don't think the glitter is something that you're gonna be able to see, but I'm excited to try these out because it's like that warm and cool mix that I do like. So this really intrigued me. And I didn't get the other one because I think that was just gonna be too cool on me. But I think this is gonna be interesting. I also purchased one of the blushes, so it comes in this little velvet situation. This is the shade Galactic Red. And in the pictures, you see like these glitter flecks on it, but you can see here that that glitter is not really an issue. And I'm glad because I'm not a fan of glittery blush. I love a sheen, but not a glitter. So I'm happy about that. And I did purchase a new lip shine in the shade Plum Eclipse. So this is also part of the holiday collection. Uh, Dior had a bunch of lipsticks and I love Dior lipsticks so much, but I just cannot keep getting a whole bunch of lipsticks. So I just chose one and there's Plum Eclipse. Excuse me? I don't want to see a water bottle gun. I don't no. know. Okay. Oh, well, okay. But it's not the end. It's not close. Oh, the last thing I got from the Sephora friends and family was the Charlotte Tilbury push up lashes, the brown one. Sorry, y'all. I have a sample that I've been working through. Uh, it's a black one that I really like, so I thought I would really enjoy this in the full size. That noise is too much for everyone. With that being said, let's get into the new makeup releases. Last thing before I put on my screen record, y'all. Look at this look. Do y'all see this? I don't think this video is gonna be up. It's not. Like this is fall magic from Unearthly Cosmetics and I just can't. It's the first time I've used it. All right, let's get to it. So I feel like I haven't seen as many makeup releases this week, despite what happened with Makeup Release Radar's page. I did, you know, check Trend Mood and everything like that. And when I checked today, which is Thursday, she has not posted anything in like six days. So I'm thinking that the makeup has slowed down this week, which is, is great. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go down to the bottom of Makeup Release Radar's new page, and let's just see where we are. The first thing that catches my eye is this little quad from, I'm gonna stop saying little. I don't, I don't like when people do that. Like, you'd be like, oh, you got yourself a little job? Like, no, like, no, I got myself a job. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, there is a quad here from Pariah House Cosmetics. And this is the Bloody Blush X Pariah House Cosmetics Strange and Unusual Palette. So you know, this is inspired by the one and only Beetlejuice. And these swatches look great. This is not something that I'm purchasing or something that I need, but I think this is beautiful. This would be a companion palette for me. I love how that green has a black base to it. Like it's very, very opaque. It's beautiful. Yeah, I like this. Mm, not give me the D. Yeah, I like this, you guys. Ooh, let's see. This is available now for $23. And if you use the code radar10, you can save 10%. This is a pass for me, but I think it's beautiful. Now there's some things that I've talked about. I've talked about this NBA palette, talked about that in the restock last week. Talked about Cleona and I, mm, they have some polishes now. Oh, these are cute. These polishes are cute. Like that one in the middle, that's really cute. Oh, and they have some little brushes. I did it again. They have some brushes. I'm gonna leave, bye. Okay. I probably shared last week that I'm not purchasing these bundles because even though they're a mix of new and previous shades, in each of the bundles I have a couple of the shades, which really sucks because I 
like these. Now the polishes are something to consider. I, I like them. That one in the middle is really getting me, let me see, is it Headless Horseman? I'm not, not sure, let's see. I would need to see which one is which, but mm, the one in the middle. See, in this picture, it looks a little more orangey, which I like that orangey one, but here it looks a bit yellow. So I don't know if that's because of a flash or what. Probably won't get any of this because, you see that? See what's happening here? Nothing's happening. That's, yeah, there's nothing to see. So I need to just stop playing around and I'm gonna use my $30 Chanel polish that I needed to have that bad. Now, let's see what else we didn't talk about. Mm, Sonia G has a Fusion Eye series coming soon. Now this is definitely tempting. This is gonna be available on October 11th at noon CST. I've always wanted the Fusion face um, series or face set, but I did pass on that. I have the Lotus set still sitting over here wrapped up in its original packaging. So I probably don't need this. I really don't need any brushes. So I'm probably going to pass on this. And now I do see that the Sonia G brushes, she does restock them. So I do feel confident that I could go back and purchase this if I want to, but I do have the sky set from Sonia G. I have the Niji pro. I really do like the brushes. I'm just not in need of them. So no, I'm going to have to say pass for now. The dragon fruit collection is back in stock. I didn't know it went out of stock. So the dragon fruit collection from Cleona, which was the collab with Emily Violet Marie is back in stock. You know, this palette, I don't know what it was, but it might be one of those Amore Mariposa situations where I'm not gonna really be into it for a certain amount of time. I have used it more so as a companion palette, but on its own, I, I do need some mattes, you know, I really do. But there's some great shades in this palette, especially Fruit Fizz. Fruit Fizz is one I'm, I'm really, really into actually. So if you were thinking about this palette, it is back, but I'm thinking with Black Friday coming up, it might be something that you wanna wait to purchase. Oh, mm, so Terra Moons, I think this might be a disappointment. I don't know, yeah, let's, so Terra Moons started sneak peeking the shades from their palette and I automatically was like, oh, I'm getting this palette, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Let me just scroll up really fast because I'm gonna show you what we have so far. Y'all already know. Why are there so many blue shades? Like, I, I think if I get this palette, it, it, I'm not gonna use it, I think. And then you have this random Soleil shade, Soleil, so no, you need to lean. Like, I'm not even gonna put the sound, I'm not putting the sound on for Terra Moons, but I, this is just not seeming like it's gonna be something that I would really wear. And it really disappoints me because Terra Moons is, uh, they have some of my favorite eyeshadow singles, but this just isn't gonna be my color story. And then the pink is really throwing me off. There's so many blues, so many no's. Let me just move back now. I think the release date is the 14th. Let me just check. Yep, the 14th at 6 p.m. And I did reach out to them and I was just like, I'm glad everybody's okay because you know they are down in Florida. So And so is Unearthly Cosmetics, by the way. She's in Florida as well. Okay, Chanel has a real expensive body oil that I'm not doing. Looks like Westman Atelier has some expensive stuff. Let's talk about this. So, you know, this was sneak peeked, Makeup Revolution, again, just violating. Okay, I have not seen Coraline. I feel like it's a movie I would really like. I don't like this. I don't like the circular situation. I don't like that the shadows aren't like evenly spaced out. Why do we have two palettes? Like, I, it's just too much of not what I need. So this is a no, an absolute no. I'm not into it. I just. And that looks dry, so no, no to it all. I, what is this? No, now what are they coming out with a Honey Bear collect? I Heart Revolution has like 10 collections out right now and they're all no's, so no. Thomas, we're gonna do all the Thomases together, okay? First of all, no to this lip balm situation. Now apparently this lip balm changes colors 
uh, to your, your, I don't know, pigment or something like that. A, a pink stain, something like that. It goes on clear, turns pink. This is a no. It is $58. And no, absolutely no. Now let's keep talking about Thomas. Thomas also has this, which I think is a spring situation. First of all, is this a cream one? It doesn't matter. It's called Forbidden Pink. This is coming out in 2023. Like, so we're not even in holiday. We're not even in the winter. And now we're already in the spring. And this looks like the fall. So this is a no. Love the pink packaging. Now let's move on with more Thomas. Now this is something I do like. This is a cream quad. And it's called velours khaki i really like this one it's like a little grungy smoky situation i've not tried the cream quads i don't have a whole i mean i have a few things by tom for but it's all stuff that i've gotten on sale or from the cosmetics company store or macari or something like that i like this i think i would i think i would like and there's this one too this uh violet one this is called violet satin i don't like this one as much because this is this is too cool for me. So this is a no. We'll consider this on a discount. That's nice. Let me tell you what I do like from Thomas. It's this one right here. This is the Prey Ski. I think that's how you say it. I really like this one and I'm gonna tell you why. For the past like two years, there have been uh, Tom Ford quads in the white packaging that I've liked that I wasn't able to get my hands on. I wasn't really into First Frost, but I wanted uh, Soleil, Dive, I think that's how you say it. I can't remember. I asked my mom and I can't remember. That was the peachy one that came out, I think the year before last. I wasn't even in the time for it at that time, but I have been stalking the Soleil Dive quad on, you know, Macari, Poshmark and everything. And it's really, really expensive. So I'm not doing that, but I would do this one because to me, it's not the same at all, but it just gives me that, that vibe. And I would do this one for VIB. This one is at Sephora now. And uh, I already use my friends and family uh, coupons, so I can't get it now. But I'm gonna put it in my cart for VIB because I can't pay $90. I just can't bring myself to do that. I'm honestly not sure how different these shades are gonna look on the eyes for a look. This would be more of a one and done situation for me. Um, I don't even know if I would try to make a whole bunch of different looks, but I love these peachy shades. I think they're going to look really nice. This one, however, I, this is Chalet, 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 say no, I'm just kidding, uh, Lust. And, um, I think this one, I mean, there are some reviews on these already. Uh, Al Feisty has reviews on these. So I did see that and I'll put it in the description box. Uh, even she was like, you know, I don't know if these are worth the price. So I don't know that this one's a bit too light. I honestly think that this one here would look really good on someone with a deep complexion and you would be able to see the differences in the shades. Me, however, this is all gonna look the same. So I don't think this would be the one for me to get, but I think this one I, I would really like a lot actually so yeah yes to that purchase okay let's go back down and see what else dior tried it with this so apparently they have already had a uh 2023 spring summer dior ready to wear runway show and this is the quint that was worn this looks like so many of their other quints and i just think that's a shame now the other with that being said the other thing with dior is that sometimes the pictures that they have on their site are not accurate they're just not and i don't understand why with all the money that they have they can't have accurate pictures and swatches of everything because they don't even have swatches of the holiday quints and i'm like this is your holiday collection like why don't you have swatches so I'm not sure what this really looks like, but I can already think of like three Dior quints that look kind of like this. So I would not recommend this. This is like available for a limited time, I guess, because it's from the runway show and it's a runway now. I'm not doing it. Now let's move on. I see there's some lipsticks from, first of all, that case is a no. So this is a no. What is that? What is that? Hand and no. I don't like that case, so that's a no. Sorry, it, that's just my own personal opinion that I don't like it. Now I told y'all that I don't do, I try not to do the little black and white sneak peeks, but this is worse. I don't like this. So y'all just have the, the, <laughs> 
I don't like this. I don't want to see the cardboard pieces because y'all don't have all the shades in. This is a no. I'm gonna like the picture. I don't like, I'm done. I'm done with that. That's a no. Uh, I can't. Mm -hmm. KVD Beauty's a no, 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 no. Char, this is a beautiful color. This is the Rosie Seduction Kissing Lipstick. Let me ask y'all a question. So, K-I-S-S-I-N-G, like the periods in between, allude to me that these letters stand for something, do they? Because I feel like they don't. You need to leave. You let me know. I do, however, love this shade a lot. Not saying I'm getting it, but it's a pretty shade. Pat McGrath tried it. I love Pat. I, I, so on one hand, I'm very thankful. And I said this in my mother should make a Nirvana video, Celestial Nirvana video. I'm very thankful that she did not release the whole collection at once because Pat Happy Me would have probably bought a big bundle, if not the entire collection. That's how excited I was. Her releasing pieces at a time gave me a chance to calm down. However, for people that knew what they wanted from the beginning, like I know people that I've talked to that were like, I want the palette, the highlighter, this mascara, this blush palette, whatever. I think they would have really appreciated everything to be released together because now she has bundles and people have kind of piecemeal their collection together, if that makes sense. So she's been releasing little pieces at a time, First it was the big palette and the mascaras and then there was a bundle. And then she released the blushes and I can't remember if there were bundles for that. Now she has the, um, the two mini five pans. I actually did pass on those, at least for now. I'm definitely not getting the pink one. I did see some reviews. I mean, I think they look nice, but I don't know if the formula is good enough for me to be like, ooh, I really want this. The pink one's definitely a no. And the second one, even though I think it's called bronze something, I think there are too many cool shades in there for me and like one warm. I don't know if that's for me, at least not right now. It might be for me. That's the only one I was really considering. But yeah, I think for people that knew or had the vision of what they wanted, I think it, the release, the slow release, I think has been frustrating. I know a lot of people wanted the highlighter. I know I said I was definitely getting it, but I'm definitely not right now at that price. Let's move on. Rare Impact. Rare Beauty has a rare impact. I don't like that that says Rare Impact. I don't like that. It should just say Rare Beauty. Like what's happening here? This is, let's see. This is a Lip Souffle Matte Lip Cream. I don't know if this is a new product. They are $20. Uh, these are no. Why does it say, I don't like that it says Rare Impact. I know it says Rare Beauty too, but I'm just being particular. Mora Cosmetics has a Love Heat Cream Blush. I'm guessing these are new. I've seen some blushes from them. I don't know if this is their first cream blush launch. These are pretty colors. And I know they're super affordable. Let's see, $8.50 each. Have you all tried Mora Cosmetics? Because I'm always hearing good things. So let me know. Rare Beauty also has highlighters. These look very galactic. I'm gonna pass on these. These are coming soon. I don't need any highlighters. ColourPop's got some stuff. Let's see, what's this? You need to leave. One of this. Profusion has the Enchanted Forest collection. I'm not sure why this is called Enchanted Forest. Fill me in, y'all. Fill me in. Oh, the cast. No. No to the star shape. No to it all. No. Oh my God. I looked at this too because I had gotten like an early release uh, thing where I could shop this palette. And I do love Vive. I cannot. I can't. So I don't really think I like the Vive lipsticks. I'll have to be honest about that. I don't feel like they go on smooth for me at all. So these are no, and this palette is really cool tone. And the thing is, I'm, I don't know if Jamie Genevieve has a video for this, but she can make anything look good. So I'm glad I've decided no beforehand. I think if you like cool tones, you would really like this palette though. And I actually like that these lipsticks are warm like that. Like, I think this is, this is a, a look here to me. It really is, but it's just not gonna be for me. I don't think that it's gonna be great on me, but it's gonna be great on somebody and I can't wait to see, cause this is gonna look nice. I'm just not a huge fan of the lipstick and not sure about why we have the top Jaguars. 
or leopards on here or cheetahs. I'm not sure if I understand that, but I love Eve. So Martine Cosmetics is coming out with something. I will keep y'all posted. You know, that's my 669 brands. I showed y'all the Huda palette. What is this? Oh, she's got an advent calendar. Okay, this is a no. I don't even think I would want any of this stuff. This is a no. Just stick with the Empowered palette and keep it moving. NBA Cosmetics is coming out with a date night palette. I think this might've been sneak peeked last week. This is cute, but this is a cute no, but it's cute. NBA Cosmetics is stepping their game up with their releases. They got like a lot of palettes coming out. So that's awesome. And more singles from Terra Moons. It says 21 total shades and 12 revealed so far. These are the first four. All right, so these are swatches of the first four. Okay, that's all we've got so far. I am gonna come back with Tomorrow's Me and go ahead and I'll see if there's anything else on the other sites as well as check back with Makeup Release Radar and then we will wrap it up. Hey you guys, I'm back with Tomorrow's Me or Today's Me. Um, before we get back into the rest of the makeup releases, I do wanna let you know uh, in the last video, I think I said that Makeup Release Radar did create a backup page because her original page was gonna be coming back. Well, it's not gonna be coming back. So her old page has been taken away. It is not coming back. So please, 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 if you enjoy the new makeup releases and content from Makeup Release Radar, please go ahead and follow her new page because the old page is gone. Um, I, I'm, I don't even know what to say about it because there's nothing that she's done wrong and I've been following her since I've gotten into makeup and chatting with her and I know that this is a really devastating loss because she had 17,000 subscribers, followers. I know she will get them back plus some. So, you know, just spread the word. I did put it on my stories and I'm gonna keep putting it on my stories. And she has done a great job of just kind of rolling with the punches and going ahead and putting up uh, the releases and everything. So there are some more this week, but I did want to share that because um, she told me today, which is Friday, and I was just like, damn. You know, that's a lot of work. She's gonna get it back though. I mean, we'll say, but she's gonna get it back and, and then some. So just spread the word. I will put her Instagram link in the description box. Y'all know she is who I go to first and foremost. So let's get to the rest of the releases. I can't remember what I left off with last. Talked about Terra Moons. And I talked last week about Fenty. I talked about that boot shape palette. Let's look at this one. I saw this earlier and it really caught my attention. This is from Electrum Cosmetics. I'm sure I've heard of this brand but I, I definitely haven't tried anything by this brand. This is the Sea Witch palette, which has 12 shades, six mattes, and six duochromes. This is gonna be available on the 14th at 1130 CST. This is really, really beautiful. Now the mattes look a bit deep, I don't see much uh, for a transition. However, they might be the kind that you can diffuse out. I know nothing about this uh, formula or about this brand. So if you do know, let me know. These swatches look magnificent and I really like the look of this palette. I even like just how the shimmers are spaced out uh, with the mattes. See, this is my type of layout, even if it's not my type of color story. I do like all the shimmers. Kind of wish there were maybe one or two lighter mattes. Not light, light, like pastel, but just, I don't know, a lighter mattes, like to blend out or something. But this is really, really pretty. I almost <laughs> want to purchase this palette. I'm not sure. I don't see a price at this point. But yeah, that's gorgeous. Notoriously Morbid, I'm wearing the low-key palette. So this is one of my palettes that I purchased last year, one of my favorite ones from them. So Notoriously Morbid is coming out with a Pennywise Lives palette. I don't know if they did PR for this because uh, I didn't hear anything, but this is a really cute 
quad and even though this is not a color story that I need I almost want to buy it just because I love their layouts I love the little sticker I love the homemade feel I love how they have um, the balloons on the back with the shades I, I love all of that so this is called a little trip to dairy and it's a collection so it does have the Pennywise lives palette so it's got a multi-chrome, a multi-chrome flake shimmer, a matte, and a shimmer. And then it looks like there are some loose pigments uh, and pressed pigments. So it's like, yeah, there's a, a pressed pigment and loose pigment of the same shade. So it depends on, you know, what you like. I love that. And here is Into the Deadlights, which is one of their lip products, Beautiful Fear. And what is this? I don't know what this is. But yeah, and they have some gifts with purchase. So if you're interested, please check them out. My code is beauty in the frizz 15. So that'll save you 15% if you're interested. That's available now. Now Terra Moons is revealing more of their new uh, shades. So I'm just gonna show them to you all at once. I believe we saw four in the earlier segment. So we have these, which are really beautiful. And let's see, I thought I saw more, hold on. Oh yeah, we have these here. Look at these, beautiful. We have these. So we've seen, what, like 12 so far? So these are really pretty. All right, uh, I do wanna let you know that the Charlotte Tilbury face palettes are now at Sephora. Do not purchase them until VIB. I still have not received mine from the Charlotte Tilbury website. But yeah, now they don't have the little single shadows there yet, but I'm thinking they're gonna come and uh, they look really pretty. I mean, I, I would say they're probably like indie shimmer quality shadows and coming from Charlotte Tilbury, you know, you might be clouding like, oh my gosh, it looks so good. But I think they're probably like, when you think of like indie shimmers, you know what I mean? So I, I've seen some reviews of those, but she's also got some sets here and some of them are at Sephora. So if you were interested in those face palettes, I would definitely wait for VIB. We do see that Glam Light is coming out with a Scooby-Doo collection, and I'm thinking this is gonna be out sooner than later with uh, Halloween coming up. I'm really curious as to what this is going to look like. I'm trying to think, yeah, you know what? The Barbie collection didn't have the food packaging and this one's not going to either. I'm really curious to see what color story they're gonna come up with that's gonna represent Scooby-Doo. Not saying I'm gonna get it, but I do like to see what Glam Light comes out with. So we shall see about that. That is coming soon. Um, I will definitely post it in my Instagram um, when it comes out because it might come out before next week. And then it looks like Refer has some new brushes here. Oh, these are gonna be in the concept store. So if you like Refer brushes or wanna try them, definitely purchase them from the concept store so you can get them for 50% off. It's Bell Cosmetics. Oh, this is called the Fruity Realm. Oh yeah, those are the eyeshadows. So yeah, I remember I was, um, I think I was posting these or talking about these uh, when they were revealing one shade at a time. They are beautiful, but they are gonna be passed. And we do have another picture of the Terra Moons palette. Let me know if y'all want me to get the Terra Moons palette if you wanna see me play around with these blues because I know it's going to be a really beautiful palette. Like, and I know the quality is going to be great. I can't say that my challenge is gonna be coming up with a way to make the palette less blue. I think the challenge is gonna be coming up with a blue look that I really like. And how am I going to incorporate these blue shades? So even like with this one, I mean, this is green, but like how I did the halo like that, I think if I did that with the blue, it might not be so bad. And I think if I did that with the pink, it could be really interesting and beautiful. So mm, I don't know, I might be rationalizing a purchase here because it is Terra Moons and I love this brand. This is just not the expected color story, but I'm still interested. So let me know if you would like to see me play with this palette because I am still interested. I, I, I have to be honest with you, I am. And the, the navy blue, I love navy blue. Late, navy blue is up my alley. The purples I can do, the pink I probably use, or the fuchsia as more of a blend out. I don't know, maybe I can get kind of creative with this. Uh, let me know what you think. That's all we have for Makeup Release Radar, and I'm just gonna go ahead and check and see if there's anything else. I do want to share the Adept 
face palettes because those are probably going to be on sale by the time this video goes up. So I want to share that because she's got uh, the swatches. So let's just go ahead and look at this because this is beautiful, beautiful. There's like a real beautiful coral one. I'm not sure if it was that one. It's not this one. It might've been the first one. I love how she does the swatches and blends them out. So we have Ayana. Oh, look at, this is so pretty. That could be a bronzer for me, Valentina. So I think it's the first, oh, wait a minute, no. It might be Valentina that I like. I don't know. They're all really beautiful. Yeah, $22 each and $65 for all four. That's not bad. Even for all four, it's not bad. Are you planning on getting one or all of these? So the release date is going to be the 8th, 11 a.m. Mountain Time. 1 p.m. Eastern Time and 12 p.m. Central Time. I'm hoping to have this video up before these release. So it says that Valentina is a neutral blush, Ayana is a neutral bronze, Gianna is a fair bronze, and Stella is a blush and glow. So maybe two palettes? Oh, these face palettes are really getting me this this year let's look at this one right here because this gives us the first one and the second one i mean i love the last one too but that first one with those like coral shades yeah those are my shades okay so i wanted to show you all that let me just check out Tremu. there wasn't anything new on her site yeah just reminders of the holiday savings event what is this Oh no. Okay, I can't. Not Batman and Kylie. I'm not doing that today. The MAC holiday collection is available. I know there are some pieces at Ulta. I'm not sure if it's all of it or not. I'm not getting anything from that collection. Ooh, I don't see anything new here. She's got the Tom Ford there. So yeah, we are looking good. Okay, so that's gonna be it. Let me move over. So I think right now I am looking at my cart for VIB and seeing like what I want. I was thinking about that uh, Dior nine pan, but I've looked at some reviews and the green is not as like, it's just not as bright as I thought. Not that I needed any green eyeshadows. So I'm not gonna get that anymore. Uh, what do I have in my cart? Let me just check this out really fast. Um, I do have that Tom Ford Peachy Quad, the Apre Ski. And let me take that Dior off because I don't want that anymore. I do want to try one of the NARS Power Matte Long Lasting Lipsticks. I That's kind of it. I mean, because some of the things that I have are just replenishing um, other things in my collection that I'm low on, like my Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat my Patrick Ta uh, brow laminator gel, things like that. I do have the pharmacy uh, party green clean trio. I am thinking about the adept face palettes. I'm not sure about all four, but I, I definitely think there are two that I would really like to try out that corally one. And then maybe one of the bronzing ones. I think those would be great to try. That's about it. We do know there is a, another midi palette coming out from Natasha Denona probably in November. So waiting for that. Oh, I do think I'm going to get the NARS palette, the NARS holiday palette. I have been looking at that and I, I like what I've seen from the reviews. So I think I'm going to get that, but I'm still going to pass on the blush palette. So that's it. I think I'm done with Pat McGrath and her collection. I, the palette was enough more than enough for me. I, you saw what I had from um, Sephora, the friends and family. So I think that's it. So let me know what you're thinking. I feel like even though there were a lot of things, uh, it seems to be a little bit slower this week. And I'm glad because it kind of gave uh, Makeup Release Radar a chance to get her page back in motion. So again, please make sure that you follow her if you like, you know, new makeup content that's not just luxury or not just indie. This is a mix of everything. Indie, high, high end, she's got drugstore, luxury, she's got it all. The Terra Moons palette. Let me know what y'all think about the Terra Moons palette. Are those your colors? Is it too much? I'm, I'm really on the fence about it. It might just be better for me to wait until Black Friday and just get the singles that I want, which was probably a better idea. So I don't know. 
that's it for this video y'all thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another purchase or pass i really enjoy filming these videos and the conversations that we have after so i hope this was therapy for you because it always is for me until i see you again make sure you are being gentle with yourself talk to yourself nice stay safe and i will see y'all tomorrow bye